Hey guys, Scope here. We're finally back with some more Let's Play Eco. So in the last episode, we finally made it past some of those puzzles, which were the worst puzzles in the game. And uh, sorry I got so frustrated, but um, you know, it was just it's kind of stupid. And as I put in the description there, they actually did remove that puzzle from the Japanese game, the Japanese version, because it was so ridiculous. So the North American version had a much easier puzzle that didn't even involve the water wheel. But for some reason, when Ico HD came out, they decided to put that puzzle back in. I don't know, just maybe to make it harder or something, but I don't know. Anyway, a lot of people pointed out I thought I beat uh, my sister on this, but apparently it's possible that her waterfall file time here is the same spot I'm at, since you can come back here and save after the water wheel. So in that case, she probably did beat me, because I'm at 352 over here. So Yeah, but I spent a lot of time on that puzzle, man, I'll tell you what. Um, no, we don't need to save again. Anyway, um, I figured out what that secret room did, thanks to your guys' comments. Now, normally on a blind run, I wouldn't really be reading the comments, but you guys seem to be pretty good about not spoiling things, the plot, so that's pretty good. Um, you know, if I ever notice a comment is looking kind of spoilery, obviously I won't read it, but, um, yeah, as long as you don't spoil the plot or any, like, future puzzles, that's fine. If you're telling me about something secret then by all means you can tell me about that because I want to show a lot of the secret stuff in this game even if I don't know where it is. So I'm going to head back there and try to show off that secret room real quick. But I'm going to take Yorta with me just in case because I don't want like monsters coming to get her. Because this is a whole other area over here. And then we'll move on. But I do want to show this because it looks pretty cool. Alright, so uh, I think I should be able to leave her here and be okay. Oh man, I can't climb up that? What? Oh, I can probably climb up right here. There we go. I actually probably should bring her up here. No, Iko, get up there. Iko, I'm sorry. Onswa? There we go. Yeah, but hopefully the rest of the puzzles in this part of the game won't be too bad. Okay, so anyway, people told me that um, that secret room, what you actually have to do is if you look in this tree, for some reason there's like a ball in it, and if you hit it, a ball will come down. Yeah, look at that. Like a ball just falls out. What the hell? Like, how the hell are you supposed to know that? That's just so weird. But anyway, you pretty much just have to play basketball. Once that oath little thing opens up, that hollow whatever it was that we opened with the switch, you have to put this inside of it. Now, what you could do is um, get this ball first, bring it over to the spot where the thing rises up out of, and then make it appear. That way it would be a lot easier, it would just land in the thing, but instead we've got to like kind of throw it here, so that might be a little problematic. Oh yeah, I missed. Yeah, it's like we're playing basketball, man. Who would have thought you'd be playing basketball in Eco? Like what the hell, man? Like what the hell? Alright, so I had a rim shot last time, so let's try Huzza Boogada. Dude, you were at an angle there, it's not supposed to go at an angle. Oh, don't be climbing on the stairs again. Remember what happened last time? Yeah, we glitched out and died. God, that was, that's probably what made me more frustrated than anything, is the fact that I had to go back and do it again. Alright, so let's line it up. And, oh, come on, man. Come on. Just get it in there, Eco. I know you can do it, my friend. Dude, every time I throw it from that direction, I throw it at an angle. I think it's just the way the camera is facing. It kind of screws me. Oh, my God, finally. Okay, it's in. It is in, and now what do we get? Whoa! Yeah, apparently somebody throws a mace in from the window. Yeah, a freaking mace. So by doing that, you get one of the hidden weapons in the game, which is a mace. And apparently this thing does extreme amounts of damage, so... There you go, that's something cool. So, yeah, cool, now we have a mace. Awesome. Lovely. I can't wait to use this, man. Can't wait to bomb so the dong goes. Alright, so now that we've wasted time with that, let's head back to uh, the waterfall area. So yeah, like I said, I believe this does more damage. That's why it's a secret weapon. It does do more damage than the sword and the stick, obviously. And I think somebody said too, but don't spoil it in the comments because I want to kind of... We're not even to an area where this exists yet, but I think there's one more item you can unlock secret item. I think there's two in the game total. Oh, spiked club. There we go. That's a little delayed reaction for my trophy. But the next weapon in the game kills all the shadow monsters in one hit, so that's cool. 
on Swa. We haven't seen any monsters in a long time, like this whole waterfall area, huh? That's pretty cool. Alright, so let's finally head down to the bottom there, and it looks like we're going to have to do a block puzzle to get Yorta up to the door. Oh, I'm going to be so happy to get out of this area. Oh, God. This area is like the epitome of my career, man. Alright, so there's still a nice little pool of water here. That's kind of cool. Come on, Yorta, jump down. Good job. Oh, oh, speaking of, I haven't seen monsters in a long time. Should I just try to... Oh, man, these guys are quick. Do they get quicker when I get the spiked club? Or the mace? Man, look at that. It kills these guys in one, like, combo. That's crazy. Jeez, I'm, like, overpowered now. This is the equivalent of being overleveled in eco. <laughs> oh, this is funny. I guess I could have just tried to get up here and, uh... Get her out. Oh man, she climbed that all by herself. No way. You are awesome, Yorda. I'm sorry in the last episode, guys, was, by the way, guys, I was kind of like bagging on or Yorda and her AI, but you know. It was, uh, it was frustrating. What can I say? Alright, let's see what's in here. I better have brought her with me. I'm sure I grabbed her hand. Okay. Whoa. Oh, this is that part from the, uh, from that one. Oh, wait, no, it's not. There's a like a thumbnail I used one time, and it's just kind of eco standing by a water wheel and a huge waterfall. I thought this was it, but this doesn't look like it because I don't see a water wheel. Of course, the day is young, right? So I guess we'd call this the cavern area, right? The uh, like cavern area of eco. All right, better stay out of the water. That probably doesn't go anywhere. Wee. Oh man, look at this. Oh yeah, this this is the area. Because the picture was like of Eco standing down there looking up at the... Yeah, there's a water wheel. Look at all this. Holy crap. Wow. This is huge. And beautiful. Jesus, man. Wow. Oh, great. Another ladder. Come on, Yorda. Man, this is, I can already tell you right now, this is epic. Look at this, climbing along this pathway, man. This is beautiful. <laughs> Look at my mace. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, yeah! Is she gonna make that? Oh, jeez. I don't know. Can she make that? Jeez, that's quite the jump. Oh! God, it hurts me to watch her do that. Come on, pull her up, Eco. Oh, God. Oh, man. Makes my heart tremble every time. My heart tremors. It skips a beat, you know? Oh, look, we're heading outside. Cool. Maybe we get to skip that whole bottom area. Yeah, right. Well, I guess so. Maybe we'll come back to it. Okay. Oh, I can't wait to like, took a, take a look at the scenery out here. Whoa. Have we seen this before? Jeez, look, it's just white nothingness out there. Jeez, where are we relative to everything? I have no idea. Oh, wait. That looks like the main gate area over here. So maybe the West Reflector is over here? And we're heading towards it? I don't know. Oh, is this that other area from the thumbnail? Because if you if you get the camera in here, I don't know how you would, but it's like Eco standing on a, on a ledge like this. I guess it's possible. Alright, cool. I'm guessing we go down here. Oh, wow. Or not. Oh, yeah, okay. I thought that was, like, something else. Holy ball sack. Oh, look, a train track. Jeez, look at that thing. Yeah, this place is pretty falling apart. I don't know. Doesn't look like your typical castle spiel. Oh, what's this? I see a, a passageway. You want to try to open that? Do we, like, come out of that later? Look, there's a door right here, a handle. Is that a secret? Probably. Alright, well, let's save, sure. That's the one thing I've learned, is to save when you can. Get over here. Let's see what area this is called. I'm gonna bet, uh... <sighs> I don't know. Train station? Let me guess. Gondola. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess I shouldn't know that. Four hours we are into this game. Jesus, monkey man. 
I have a feeling we're getting there, people. I don't know. Believe it or not, I think this is actually going to be my LP that I finished first out of the four I'm doing now. Which is crazy, because this is my most recent one started, but... Uh, I guess you could classify this as sort of a short game. Ooh, stairs to nothing. Dun dun dun. I guess this is these are just a good view. Yeah, look at this. Crikey. Oh, okay. That's going to lead to that later. Alright, well, in the meantime. Oh, look, more piping. I lied about the piping. Can I climb this? I can. Awesome. Can, can Yorda climb piping? I don't know. Well, while she's messing around with that. Ooh, look, a rock. Can I pick up the rock? No. Okay, well, I'm at the train tracks here. Oh, wow, I can move this. But the rocks are in the way. But you're still hungry. All right, let's try pushing it this way. Oh, cool, I thought it was going to hit that little uh, over underpass. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, this isn't even that high. Wow. Okay. And it's got a ladder on it. How convenient. Oh, it's a boogada. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Jeez, just don't fall down. Man, that was a bad huzza boogada. Yeah, Ico has the... Ico has the huzza boogada, too. It, it looks like this. That's the huzza boogada. It's just his epic jump of epic proportions. Alright, and we've got a lever. Secret lever. Oh, there you go. Problem solved. Who's a boogada, man? Who's a boogada? And let's take falls. Let's oot shoot like champions. Yes, just jump down, Eco. Just do it. Yeah, when you're going to go down falls that will take damage, I think he, like, tries to stop you like that. He's like, hey, dude, I'm giving you a chance to redeem yourself because this fall will hurt you. Oh, there's monsters here? Well, I don't see any door within sight, so let's just own these guys with our frickin' mace, man. Our face mace. Yeah, look at this, dude. One hitting these guys. This is too cheap. This is too cheap. If you guys want to own shadow monsters... Oh, my God. Well, I guess that could happen, too. But even then, he didn't go after Yorda. What a nincompoop. Man, if you guys want to break the game, just get the mace. Oh, wow, look at that. That was cool. Alright, I hear more shadowy flying fucks. Bring it on, assholes. Well, Yorda, if they're not going to come to us, we're going to have to go to them. Let's go. Oh, there's another hole over here. A secret hole. Alright, bring it on, douche nipple. Oh, I see you're going to land over there, huh? Yeah, if they knock me down here, I could very well fall off the edge and get a game over, but uh, I'm willing to take that chance. Oh, look at this big fucker. Well, that's that. Is that all you've got? Yeah, I thought so. Haha, <laughs> that was easy. Alright, what's over here? Another secret area. Oh, it looks like I can make it through here. Maybe I can shimmy? I don't know. Now I'm constantly worrying about secret areas, like where the next secret one's going to be that has, you know, the ultimate item. But I doubt it would be very close to that point where I just got the mace, so... Hmm. Alright, now it looks like we got a few ways to go. We can go in here or back there. Uh, okay. I love how they give you this view of inside the room. It's freaking awesome. But it doesn't look like we can do anything. Alright, let's keep on going. Keep on keeping on, man. And this is going to be the lower area of the caves, right? Yeah, it would appear so. Alright, you're to take my hand and we will run away down to this place that I know. Oh man, this camera angle. Yeah, sometimes the camera angle can be a bitch, you know, like, where am I going? Look at this. This reminds me of Alice in Wonderland for some reason, like, off with his head. Off with her head. It reminds me of, like, I'm gonna die. Jeez, this path just winds? This is crazy. Oh, we weren't in the caves for very long. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, jeez. Where are we gonna drop out at now? Oh, okay. We're up here. Fucking A, man. Fucking A. Oh, yeah, my explorative self wants to check out what's in this area. Nothing. Just a nice view. I thought so. Hiya! How's a bugada? And the walls of bugada is where he jumps into the wall and just bounces off of it, just belly flops against the wall, like, yep, that's the walls of bugada. 
Oh, look at this. This looks bad. Oh, this reminds me of God of War. There's so many things where you just have to turn this to move the platforms. No, Eco, you want it? Stop. I, I pressed the button like 10 million years ago for you to stop. Oh, nice gate, dude. Should I be standing on the outside of this? Would that work better? Oh, yeah. It works a lot better. Jeez. See, that's what I mean about realistic physics. Like, if you were to try to t push that thing towards the middle, it would be harder because the outside has more leverage, so it's easier. It's just crazy how much sense it makes. Alright, up, up, and away. I hold silver! Away! Okay, how long am I going to have to do this, man? I mean, it's, it's it looks good. Don't get me wrong, it looks nice, but... Yeah, don't worry, Yorda, I got this. You don't have to help or anything. You can just stand there and watch. Oh, wow, transition in the middle of this? Really? Uh, let's, let's get to the outside of it and pull it. There we go. Up, oh, out of the way there, darling. We're doing a big people work here. Big boys are playing. All right, here we go. Wow. Okay, now I, now that we're a little higher, come on, get higher. Loosen my lips. You can see where we are relative to everything. Or maybe not. I think we're like at the back of the castle right now. That might be the reflector right there, and uh, we just got to get over to it. Yeah, I don't see any landmarks that I recognize. So let's just keep going. Ooh, another save point. And how perfect. We're at about 18 minutes. Wow. That's the first time it's worked out like that in a good long while. Well, we'll get over here, Yorda. We're going to rest right here by this gate. This looks like some place you'd get raped, man. Just in this dark alleyway next to this cell. I don't know. Most of their save points have been pretty quaint and nice, but this one looks just horrible. Alright, we're going to be at like 4 hours, 13 minutes, I bet. Or no, like 11 minutes, probably. I love this music. 409. Oh, Water Tower. Uh-oh. <laughs> the Water Tower. What is this? Looney Tunes, man? Alright. Um. Well, I guess I should stay on that screen, shouldn't I? Anyways, now that we have saved, um, I'll see you guys in the next episode where we'll continue through the Water Tower en route to the West Reflector, I would imagine. So, I'll see you guys then. Thank you, and have a good day.